Hey guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new subscribers. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a project share using these beautiful products from Globeland. So let's get started. Hey guys, so I just want to thank Globeland for sponsoring another video. Thank you so much. Their website is going to be in the description below as well as right here on the screen. If you'd like to check out any of these products for yourself, just go to their website. And of course, as usual, all of the links to the products will be in the description below as well. So let me just adjust this camera so you can see what I am showing you today. Alrighty, so the two sets of dies we're using is the frame die set and the fairy die set. And in another video, I will be doing the other three products I got from them. In another video, I will do a project share. So here are the fairy dies that I use, and I did use all of them in my projects. And here's that cute little one right there. Of course, that is my favorite out of the four. So that again is a whole set you get and the frame die set. These, this is so beautiful, very, very intricate. And by the way, all of these dies cut very, very well. It's just amazing. They're very intricate, but they just slice through the paper. And yeah, so they came out beautiful. Just a lot of, you know, little pieces, especially with the uh, frame die because it is so intricate. So what's great about this is when you cut out that part there, the bigger piece, you get that piece of paper, okay? And then from that piece of paper, you can actually use the other die and it fits perfectly. So then out of that piece, okay, this is what comes out is that right there, that beautiful bronzy paper. Um, I believe I got that from Tonic Studios, that paper, so pretty. So basically you don't lose any paper. So then from when you cut out that piece in the center, you actually get a very, very cool piece, which looks exactly like little tickets or a tag. So when you cut each piece, you have just enough paper and you can use all of the paper. You don't waste any. And that is the perfect shape for a little ticket. You could put like in a pocket or in a little tuck space. Alrighty, so let's move all of that out of the way. And if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here on my channel. Alright, so let's move all of the dies to the side. If I can get them up. Yeah, again, that is my favorite one. I just love that one. It's so pretty. Alright. Just moving these little guys out of the way so I have enough space so the first project I made I took one of the dies there and I'm just uh, yes I used um, of course my aquaflow colors my aquaflow markers and all of these different colors here in each of the projects I just kept them out I just love the aqua flows they're just working so well and I also use some Nouveau um, the vintage drops in that uh, pumice color the salmon and stone drops in that blue color and that's gonna be in the last project all right so first I just decorated my envelope with this guy right here I thought it was just a nice little touch to decorate the envelope and I did use the aqua flow markers to just color her in so in the first project, I actually uh, mixed both the frame dies and the fairy dies. So here is my favorite fairy die, <clears throat> sorry, with the uh, frame. So there it is against this beautiful yellow paper. And I did use like fairy inspired papers for that. 
so that is the inside so I did put the frame die on the bottom half of the card and that is the fairy die with the moon and is, she is so beautiful I just love the way that came out and here's that intricate frame die so I just mixed the two sets together and as you can see they work perfectly together I think the flowers in the frame die work perfectly with any project really, but it worked really, really well with the fairies. So the second project was just the frame dies. So yeah, I'm just getting the dies together so you see them. So I used both pieces there and I did um, watercolor the background on the cardstock and I put some pretty flowers in the center there it's a very simple card but it just is absolutely beautiful and you can use it for anything I just left it blank so I could you know I could further embellish it and make it more specific to a, a specific um, you know event uh, someone's birthday or a thank you card or anything but I think that the texture of this die and the paper just really brings it out it's so beautiful very delicate and very very pretty alrighty so let's move that to the side this was so enjoyable I just loved it so the third and last um, project I made was an another card but this time I just used the fairy dies Alrighty. So here is my favorite die again in the center. But this time I laid the paper and I did use some of the uh, stone drops and the uh, vintage drops. Just a little dot each. And I placed it on top of a piece of yellow paper and I cut it out. So it had a little more weight to it. And a little more dimension and I did color in uh, with my aquaflow markers and here is the little Tinkerbell die I call her Tinkerbell because it looks just like Tinkerbell and I there it is right there that die and I put her in the corner there I think she matches perfectly and I just left it blank because you have plenty of room to you know write any type of messages right here and all the way down there and I just put a sticker from my fairy collection I believe from graphic 45 and yeah I just placed it down on another sheet of paper and I cut her out so that is that project so these dies are absolutely gorgeous they work very very well all right, guys, that is it. I love these dies. I love the projects that I made. You know, don't forget, if you want to get some of these yourself, you can go to Globeland's website and the links below. You could follow them directly to the website. So thank you so much, for guys, for watching today. And I hope you enjoyed. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Share it. Give me a little like. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.